Hi, I'm Chen Liu. And I'm Sal. And this is our next make. Our family really enjoys the outdoors, and each year we look forward to a very special hike. That's right, we've been hiking the same mountain for decades now, and we always enjoy getting to the top and cooking ourselves a nice meal. So this year we thought we'd make our own hiking utensils. We started by designing a spoon and SOLIDWORKS for makers. It was really easy to experiment with the shape until we landed on something that we liked. Then we added a simple cut to also design a spork, and extracted a flat pattern so we could order the stainless steel blanks from Send Cut Send. While we waited for the parts to arrive, we started working on the die block and the punch. To make the die, I'm going to use this piece of 5 quarter ipe. It's an incredibly dense species of wood, and because of that, I'm not going to try and cut through it all at once at the table saw. I'll make multiple passes and raise the blade each time. You should also know that this species produces a ton of really fine dust, so please wear a mask, protect your lungs when you're working with this. I need two matching pieces for the upper and lower die plates, so I cut them to length at the miter saw. And then I take them over to the bandsaw to nibble away a groove that I'll use to hold the pieces down to the CNC table. When I'm working with large sheets of plywood on the CNC, I'll usually just screw them directly down to the spoil board. But when I'm working with small pieces like this, I like to take the time to build a dedicated jig to hold them in place. I start by cutting a 90 degree corner in a scrap piece of plywood. Then I slide the stock up against the large datum surface and then into the corner. I'll attach a few of my homemade hold downs to keep the stock tight to the table and then use a few wedges to keep the stock tight to the zeroing jig. I just screw one wedge in place and then tap the second wedge in a bit to create a really strong connection. When I designed the spoon, I used its geometry to create an exact die block. I just subtracted the spoon from the stock and then created interlocking surfaces that will help locate the die punch. To cut the die block, I start with a roughing pass to remove the bulk of the material. Then I run a finishing pass with a really small step over to cut the exact shape. This completes the die block, but before I remove it from the jig, I want to test if the metal blanks will fit. Do you remember when you were a kid and you were just so excited about something amazing that's going to happen tomorrow that you couldn't fall asleep? That's exactly how I feel every time I know that my order from Send Cut Send is going to arrive. I've always been a little bit intimidated about working with metal, but knowing that there's a service out there that lets me get intricately cut metal parts at an affordable price is amazing. I want to be clear, this isn't a paid promotion, it's just how I feel about the service. It's just like knowing how to use SOLIDWORKS makes me feel like I have superpowers. Knowing that I can get parts like this makes me feel like I can design anything. Alright, so there's our, there's our shipping order. And just like last time, uh, they've included some candies. I love that, it's a really nice touch. It's uh, totally unnecessary, but it's really cool. Let's see, lets me know that they're a cool company. Um, and there's our parts. So we've got um, two sets of spoons, two sets of sports. They're in different uh, gauges. So we'll see how they fare on uh, the die that we create. The finished die block looks really good. And both the spoon and the spork in the two different gauges seem to fit really nicely. So now we can cut the die punch. The process here is quite the same. I start with a roughing pass that removes a bunch of material and creates this stair-step look. Then I run a finishing pass to cut the exact shape. Before removing the punch from the CNC, I test the die blank for fit. Now we can really see if this thing works. This is great! I think that all that's left is to put these to the test. Let's go on a hike. We're headed to Tumble Down Mountain in Maine. It's an amazing hike that starts out flat, but then quickly gets steep and pushes you to gain almost 2,000 feet in a fairly short distance. Everything about it is totally worth the effort though. The views from the summit are amazing. And you're rewarded with a lake at the top. It's a great place to spend an afternoon, refuel, and test out your new utensils. They work perfectly. They're long enough to let you stir your dehydrated food packets and shaped well to hold a nice scoop of food.
As always, I really love that hike, and I think our new utensils perform really well. We hope this project inspires you to make something special for your next hiking adventure. Thank you for watching. We'll see you on our next make.